Hey guys, it's TV here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rig and animate this pistol model I made in Blender. I've been working on an inventory system and modeling a whole bunch of stuff um, that I'm going to use in that. You can find the source files to this model and all of the other models on my Patreon page. Thanks again to my patrons. You guys are the best and you keep me going. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so over in Blender, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your model is split into separate objects. So in my case, I have my root object, my slider object, and my trigger object, and we're going to add bones to each of these so that we can animate them. In object mode, let's hit Shift A to add, and then look for armature, single bone. Then we'll scale it down and place it around the handle. In the armature setting window on the right in the viewport display section, let's enable in front so that our armature always appears in front of our objects. Now, with our armature selected, let's tab into edit mode. In edit mode, select our first bone and hit Shift plus D to duplicate it. Then rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis and move it with G to the slider object. Then we'll hit Shift D again to duplicate the bone. We'll rotate slightly and move it over to the trigger. Now we're going to need to make our root bone a parent of our slider and trigger bones. To do that, first select the slider bone, then shift select the root bone and hit Ctrl P and select Keep Offset. This will set the root bone as a parent to the slider bone and maintain the offset. Similarly, let's select our trigger bone, then shift select our root bone and hit Ctrl P, Keep Offset to parent it to the root bone. Next, let's rename our bones for easy reference. So I'll just select each one, hit F2, and rename it correctly. Now, with the armature selected, let's head into pose mode. Next, we're going to need to set each object as a child of their respective bone. So in the outliner, on the right, let's select the root object, then select the root bone, and then hit Ctrl P, and select the parent to bone option. Now, if we rotate our root bone, we'll see that our root object rotates with it. Nice. Next, let's select the slider object, then the slider bone, hit Ctrl P and select bone to parent it. And now we can see if we move the slider bone, it moves the slider object, but if we move the root bone, it moves the slider and the root objects, which is exactly what we want. Finally, let's set the trigger bone as a parent of the trigger object in the same way. Next, in the timeline window at the bottom, let's open up the dope sheet and select the action editor. Then let's click the new button and we'll call our action shoot. Next, let's select all of our bones with A and hit I to insert an idle keyframe. This inserts the location, rotation, and scale of each of the selected bones. Next, let's select the trigger bone, move over to around keyframe 3, rotate the trigger down a bit, and hit I to insert the keyframe. Now if I move the playhead to the beginning and hit spacebar, we'll see the trigger move down. Next, let's move the playhead to frame 4 and duplicate the trigger keyframe by copy-pasting with Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V or duplicating with Shift-D. This will just add a one frame hold of the current trigger position. Then let's move the playhead to keyframe 6, select the first keyframe, copy it with Ctrl-C and paste it with Ctrl-V. This will return the trigger to its starting position. We can play that to see if we're happy, and I think that looks pretty good. Next, let's select the slider bone. Let's move the playhead to around keyframe 3, and copy-paste the first frame so that the slider doesn't move in the first three frames. Next, let's move the playhead over to keyframe 5, and then we'll move the slider bone on the y-axis back a bit, and hit I to insert the keyframe. We can adjust this by dragging the keyframes till we're happy with how it looks. I'll add a one frame hold to keyframe 6 and finally we'll move to keyframe 7 and copy paste the first keyframe to move the slider back to its starting position. You can fiddle with these timings till you get something you're happy with. It involves lots of back and forth, hitting the play button, and adjusting keyframes. But in essence, this is the process of rigging and animating things in Blender. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.